Quick unboxing of the uh, Pelican Elite 70 liter, 66, uh, 70 quart, 66 liter, whatever. Internal volume, 72 liters, so 66, eight, eight, whatever, whatever it is. So we're gonna cut it open. It's my trusty little Spyderco. Yes, it's the $35 Walmart version because this is pretty much all this knife does. It just cuts boxes open, that's all. Yeah, so. Ah, and yeah, the box is a little beat up. Thank you, UPS, for uh, always delivering damaged goods. I don't understand why more people don't use FedEx. I like them. But, there we go. Oddly enough, I bought this cooler, and it was supposed to be something I could fit in the back of my car. It, that's not gonna happen. So you know what that means. Just gonna have to get another cooler. And take it out the baggie. Maybe I should turn it around so you can see. Oh, maybe that one. So, uh, Okay, so it's a 70 quart, one of those new, uh, well not new, it's been around for like a year or two, but I decided to invest in a, a forever cooler because I bought the $100, the, the $100 coolers, the $50 coolers, and they, uh, after five or six years, they fall apart, they warp along the front edge, that's what's happening with my cooler currently I have, but uh, I'm gonna, I figured out a way to fix that. There's another YouTube guy by the name of Redneck something. I forget his name, but he basically has the same Coleman 150 quart, uh, five day max marine cooler, and the same thing happened to him. This whole front edge started to warp out, so he's losing his air, his uh, temperature control, and ice on the last like two or three days, stuff like that. So, this is the 70 quart, it's got the seal, it's got the uh, latches that everybody likes. It's uh, a lot bigger on the interior than I thought it was gonna be. They give you this uh, cool little manual to make you buy more stuff, that's always necessary, right? And then you get a free sticker. Stickers, stickers are good. Did, did you see what I did with the Daniel Defense uh, reverse sticker? Not yet. Oh, yeah, it's on the front of the safe. Oh. <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm about to decorate my laptop in a couple days. Yeah? <laughs> um, so that's pretty cool. It has a lifetime warranty. Of course, not on the uh, important stuff that we're worried about, like the latches and the color fading and the seal or the drain spout. But I guess pretty much if you punch a hole through the cooler itself, they'll replace it. Um, for all the reviews I saw, customer service is pretty cool, pretty straightforward um, with people. And uh, I'm not gonna do an ice test because everybody does ice tests. And from what I've learned, most people don't do them right. So I'm not gonna buy you know 40 pounds of ice to pack this cooler to leave it out in the sun in the backyard for 10 days, because I'll be honest, I'll probably never need 10 days worth of ice. But three or four days is always good, especially if you're going camping. Um, so that's it. Pretty straightforward. Oh, God. And uh, apparently it's supposed to be lighter than the older models. 30% lighter, as it says. But uh, still got a good bit of weight of it. You find yourself lacking in the strings department, I'd say don't get anything like this. But uh, I like the lashes, the lockable thing, not really a big deal to me. But I wanted something that was gonna last, and this should last. If it doesn't last, then I guess in like five years, I'll be on here talking about why you should never buy the Pelican Elite Cooler. <laughs> just like I'm telling you, hey, if you plan on using your cooler a lot, don't get the Coleman coolers. You know, unless you're just using your backyard, then don't do it. So what happened? Did you have a bad experience with your Coleman or something? No, it's just the fact that, you know, all I really used it for was camping and backyard stuff. And it warps over time, just the whole front edge. And I mean, I'll still use it for day barbecues and stuff like that. I don't know when I'm gonna need to put 250 cans of anything in the cooler, but you know, you want it to hold ice. You don't wanna have to keep going to get ice and stuff like that. So that's why, one of the reasons why you buy this. The other reason is that if you do plan on going camping or if, you know, going on a boat or anything like that, you want to be able to take your cooler with you, you know that it's going to hold up if it falls out the back of your truck or back of your car, that it'll last you. And that's what I'm looking for. That was the purpose of buying this. So I'm going to have to buy another cooler to fit the, cooler to fit the purpose of this cooler, which was something that I could throw in the back of the car that was larger than my 25-quart uh, little igloo. 
but could also fit in the trunk, but hold a decent amount. So I think the 45, I checked the measurements on the website, the opening to the trunk is only 19 and a half inches and the 45 quart version of this should suffice. So we'll see. Right now Pelican's running a 20% off uh, sale on their website and all the pretty much everything is marked down 20%. The 20 quart is down to 129 from 179. I didn't check the price on the, uh, let me see the price on the, oh shit. Uh, price on the 70 is the price on this one is 299 matter of fact down from 349 or something like that so I think the the 30 oh they took away the 45 okay so the 50 the the 30 or the 50 probably would stand to work better for day-to-day -day, you know work sites stuff like this but I do plan on getting back into camping so that was also the reason behind this purchase I wanted something that could hold three four days worth of food and you know drinks or whatever like that for the family without uh losing his temperature and stuff so that was the other purpose behind getting this so i've come to the point in life where it's a buy once cry once so you know you could go spend the same 300 dollars and get 350 quart igloo or coleman's or something like that but more than likely something's gonna break in the next four to five years. And you're gonna find yourself saying, I wish my lid worked. I wish the hinges were still there. I wish, this, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. And then before you know it, you're in the whole three, $400 in other coolers and you could have had the same cooler just rocking the whole time. Now I will say, I know a lot of people gave up on Yeti because of the whole NRA situation. Um, but believe it or not, had I gotten the, was the 65 quart yet Yeti? that would have fit the dimensions that I need to fit in the car. So I would have had a 65 quart cooler that I could have stuck in the trunk of the car with no problem. But I went with this because I couldn't buy a Yeti because I am a gun enthusiast. So I was told I couldn't do it and I didn't want to have to buy it and shoot it. So I went with something that was a, made in America and that from all the videos I watched is just as durable if not more. And other things, the Yetis, the Bisons, the Arctics, they all have those stupid rubber latches. And I feel like those will ultimately stretch out and give way and cause leaks and stuff like that. Where this is a hardened plastic latch that locks in place. So I wouldn't have to worry about that. I know there's been some reports of the uh, spout leak in here. I guess I'll fill it up with water and check that. If it's a big deal, I'll just shoot some silicone in there underneath it and that should close it up. And then uh, the seal around the inside, they'll send you a new one of those if that's a problem. But I'm gonna check it out, see how it works out. And uh, I got something coming up in about two weeks, so I guess I'll give my one day review of it sitting out in 90 degree weather while I'm doing some uh, barbecuing or cooking for a family event. Other than that, that's it guys, enjoy. Uh, check out the rest of this guy's videos on his uh, Hobby RX channel. He does a really good job, all right. I don't know, you putting this up on how you are? I'm still working. I'm still okay. working. I, got some, I got some things in the pipeline. Okay. So, okay, that's right.